Hello and welcome. I want to try out HitFilm Express. I've heard about it in the comments of my videos. So let's go to its homepage, fxhome.com slash express. And uh, let's see what the free version has to offer. It wants cookies, which is annoying. Let's just press options and remove statistics, update preference and uh, press back and back. Okay, the cookie thing is gone. Now we can hit get HitFilm Express free. And it wants us to share stuff on social media. Google Plus is dead friend. Let's press Google Plus, why not? We can close this immediately. And now we gotta create an account. Well, I'm going to use some fake email address for this. You can probably as well. I'm gonna press no here and send me the Express download link. Okay, continue learning while you wait. What does... Oh, okay. It just goes back to this site. All right, so we got the email. Let's open it up. And here's the download link. And download for Windows. Now it looks like I'm gonna have to log in into it. All right, so now that we have it downloaded, let's install it. I tried extracting the MSI file. It works. I can edit, but when I try to register, which you have to do for a free account even, then it doesn't work, so cannot use less MSI. So I'm gonna have to click through here. Let's uh, make a custom installation. And it's uh, 500 megabytes. I don't really... I'm not gonna use Mocha Hit Film. I'm not sure I'm gonna use templates, but that's tiny. We probably want the effects and transitions, so let's just leave it all on and install. And I need to permit it to make changes. Oh well. All right, the installation has finished. Let's get in there. And here it is. Okay, it opens up some welcome screen and we can just get out of here. And uh, let's start editing by going to file or we can just press new here. And here we can pick a template. Mm -hmm, that's a good selection. There's one for Instagram, quite interesting. 4K is there. 720p is also still here. And we can configure details manually. We can also enter custom numbers. So let's just press start editing. And there was a slight delay and we're done. And we're ready to edit. I like the transparent background, that's pretty cool. So I'm going to start by dragging in two video clips. All right, you can just drag them in. And let's drag them into the timeline. And I'm gonna keep the 1080p. So I'm not gonna resize the clip. I'm gonna add this one as well. Come on. There we go. Let's uh, make the audio smaller, also move them to video one. Okay. Let's see, can we delete? Yeah, we can delete tracks. Very good. Okay, uh, zoom in with control mouse wheel, a bit too, too quick a zoom, but whatever. Let us cut off a little. Slice tool is C. So let's just use this tool uh, here. Slice tool and cut. Okay, and back to the select. Let's delete this part. Remove. And also this is zoomed in because this is a 4K video. Let's go to controls, transform and scale. 50%, same with this. I think that's also 4K. Transform, 50%, okay. And now let's just export and see what the end product looks like. Okay, so now we need to log in. That's annoying. Let's see if it works. Okay, so let's try this login. I think that might be correct. And it asks me to restart. All right. Let's close it. Let's save the project. I'm just gonna save this HFP file as test. And it's down. And I'm just gonna start HitFilm Express again. Okay, this thing again. Okay, and it has a list of recently opened files. That's nice. Okay, so here's the project. Let's see if we can export now. Okay, looks better. No more login requirement. Okay, so this is a 1080p. We're gonna use the YouTube preset. And uh, I think all we need to do is press export here. In, out, contents. I guess contents? Okay, so this is the project and we could select from it and this is the actual task. Okay, looks like we can change the location here. Desktop is not a nice place to export, so let's go to downloads and we're just gonna export it here. Hit test. And now we can press start exporting down here. 
All right, we have a preview here. Okay, so the export is done. Let's test if it has a watermark. Here it is. All right, hit test. Here it is, there is no watermark. That is good. Let's see, Trans I didn't add a transition, so it's just a cut. And there seems to be no, this was made with HitFilm Express at the end either. So that is good. So if we look at the website and go to the store, let's try to figure out what the benefit is of the pro version. Okay, let's go back, get HitFilm Express free. Okay, that's fine. Let's go to features. Okay, that doesn't help. Let's try store again. Okay, there's HitFilm Studio, which is not exactly clear what it is. HitFilm Pro. Okay, so what we're wondering is what is Pro? What is HitFilm Pro? Ignite Pro and Action Pro might also be interesting to fi figure out what they are. Here we see a list of features. I wonder if GPU encoding is possible without Pro. Maybe that's one of the, f one of the features. So it looks like maybe only the list of effects is different in Pro and Express for now. Anyways, this is how you get HitFilm Express and what kind of steps you have to take. Registration is a thing, you don't have to social media share anything, although they do kind of indicate it. And this is how you export stuff. So I hope this helped. Give this video a like, subscribe to support this channel, and I will see you next time. Until then, ciao! And there appears to be no watermark, as I said.